All right, here is my upper body vlog for today. I'm actually really happy with today's workout. I got in trained super hard. I got some extremely intense pumps, but still moved some pretty heavy weight. Uh, so again, for those who recall, I am doing flat back, really wide grip uh, bench, completely raw now. So yes, 315, these are not my best sets ever, but the fact that I can get like four reps with good pauses, I will absolutely 100% take it because keep in mind my best ever on camera with a more medium grip, although I feel like I'm stronger with the wide grip now, I feel like my pecs have gotten stronger. My best ever was eight reps with that weight, with an arch, with a belt, with wrist wraps, okay, all that stuff. So uh, my goal, I would love to get that to 10 using this form. That's kind of like a long-term ego goal. All right, looks like kind of the boof has come back down from my diet. I'm working on getting a, a bit leaner now again, but I still want to train super hard. I want to recomposition a little and I want to gain some muscle off muscle memory. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm supersetting the benching with weighted chins. I managed to get my 10 both times and then I, on the final set, you guys will see, I let go of the bar, come back up and squeeze out one more rep. So I'm doing just a little bit of mild rest pause on these final sets and it's kind of to justify the, the lower-ish volumes I'm doing. Um, but again, I, I have a video coming in the feed, I, I've already recorded, I may have released it already, just kind of explaining how a guy who I knew back in the day had the best physique I've ever, ever noticed, you know, he was 40 plus. And, uh, you know, he trained a lot like that, but even less volume than I'm doing. So I feel like these volumes are perfectly acceptable. Perfectly acceptable, but you got to train really hard to make maximum growth out of them. Uh, so for the next set of bench, I guess I didn't get a long enough break because I dropped down to 275 and that sixth rep was hard. Uh, so I decided on the final set, I would drop down to 225, take a set real close to failure, then rest pause it. Uh, so again, for the chins here, another set of 10. The 10 rep sets are very challenging. These are like pretty much a 10 rep max for me because I failed when I tried to do 11 on the last set last time, right? We got three by 10, then I tried to get one more. Notice I'm shaking on the way up. These are hard. Uh, and the thing I'm noticing here when I did this final set of bench, my triceps cramped a little bit on me, which tells me the bench is absolutely working my triceps hard. I mean, my pecs cramped up, my triceps cramped up. Super good set, but I did 12, and then I racked it, did one more, racked it, came back and did one more. Um, at the end of this, I felt like my chest and triceps were fried, and I almost realized right there how hard my triceps cramped. Remember, they cramped a lot when I did pullovers. You know, and I've been telling people, look, we can do pullovers as one of our big five, right? absolutely works and I know so many guys who have great physiques who really push pullovers um, a lot of OG guys and I'm like I really need to do the pullovers plus they helped with my shoulder mobility and I need to keep working on that well not mobility but flexibility so here we go this would be the 13th rep I think it was 12 and then one I could be wrong or was it 14 and then one <laughs> I lost count does it matter Right? I guess when we're training hard like this, it probably doesn't matter. Although I want to start doing more of that on that final set of bench, because man, that felt good. Like I said, even my triceps. I even felt the long head of my triceps. Now, some people could say that's probably coming partially from the chin-ups, but that's the thing I've realized, though. All these extensions I'm doing, I don't know they're doing much else for me. I like them, but they leave me with a lot of doms almost near the elbow, so it makes me worry about the tendons a bit. All this stuff is easy on the tendons. But, I mean, at the end of that benching, I'm like, I got a heavy tricep workout out of that, right? It was great. All right, for the chins there, that 10th rep was really hard. So then I took a breather, reached back up, I'm like, well, let me squeeze out one more. Okay, one more. Now we're training hard. Because it's one thing to do this with curls. It's like not hard to do this crap with curls. You do this on bench, you do it on weighted chins, this is harder. All right, the pullovers, I decided to use this bench, but I didn't have leg braces at first, so I couldn't really get in my groove. I didn't feel like any of the sets till the last set were good, because even this, I felt like range of motion got compromised, trying to, you know, counterbalance with that much weight. But I got 12 reps, and you know what? My triceps lit up again. Okay, on this, I felt my lats, I felt my pecs. Uh, but my triceps really felt like they, they got hammered hard. So it's telling me, for me personally, because when I push these pullovers hard, my triceps literally spasm. 
and we know they're a good tricep exercise. And again, it's hitting the part of the tricep that gets neglected on the bench. But here's the thing. When I'm doing these, I'm even feeling them in my lateral head. It's not just the long head. So people can't tell me it's only the long head being worked. Then why does my lateral head cramp? All right, curls, I'm like, let me go over to dumbbells today. You know, I've been doing all that barbell, but I really like the freedom of a little bit of dumbbells, um, and I like to alternate back and forth. So when this comes up, people are like, what's better? I'm like, I don't think there necessarily is. It's just a slightly different stimulus. I just feel like it's easier for me to get a better range of motion at the bottom, right, while staying more upright so that I get more stretch. And I kind of like that. Again, got a good bicep pump. Of course, you guys can see everything today. I feel like uh, the fat's trimming down a little bit. Uh, hopefully, again, the loose skin will tighten up as we go. I still have pictures of that from that other water cut, and I can't believe how I had no, no apparent low back fat. So the loose skin was tighter. All right, this set, because I tried to get in there and, and put my legs on the inside to use it, because I wanted to be able to use this for leverage, because it feels like it'd be more stable than the other bench. The bench started tipping. So the set still felt great. Everything lit up. I was just a little worried there. So lo and behold, what did I do on the final set? I put some weights over on the back legs to counterbalance it. It locked this bench down. Now I've got this bench worked out for the pullovers. So the final set was even a lot better. And believe me, I still felt it. I felt so much tricep and all that stretch and everything on that one. Uh, so again, curls, I got around, you know, 12 or so on these. And then the final set, I took it with a, a couple short rest pause breaks and then took it to failure, right? These were right at the edge of failure, these first two sets. And they were about 12 reps to the point where I just kind of don't keep a super tight count um, on reps like this one. So anything over 10 sometimes, especially if I'm pushing hard like this, it's like you, you can't really count it anymore. It gets difficult to keep track. And I don't feel like counting it on camera. All right, this set of pullovers, though, yeah, once I got locked into the bench, figure how to set this bench up for it. Because, again, this is my first time using this bench. This set was good. I did, like, I think I got 12 or so. And then I did a couple just breathers and then redid some more. So it was like, I don't, I don't know. I think, did I get 14? Who knows? But this set felt great. Ton of workload. Triceps were shot, and for some reason, like an idiot, I decided to do a set of band press downs at the end just to make sure I got the extension. But it's like we got that on the benching. <laughs> we got the elbow movement on the benching. That's why bench pros lateral head and the studies have looked at it actually beats extension sometimes. Right? That study comparing uh, skull crushers pretty much are laying extensions. With bench, the bench grew the lateral head a little bit more. So I just got to keep pushing the bench on that. But I feel like this will carry over to my bench too. Because again, we're working all the bench muscles again. It's different emphasis and angle. But this set, this set was tough and it felt good. This set, everything felt pumped again. Uh, curls, this set, I uh, final set, I don't know how many reps, 13, who knows, 14. I got to whatever, 10 or 12 or something like that. And I kind of did a couple breathers, rested a couple seconds, tried to get another clean rep, right? And then ended up taking it to failure, to where I missed, failed in the middle of a rep. Uh, great bicep pump, felt, felt everything, felt my arms extremely, extremely pumped with just this number of sets. Triceps, biceps, everything, all felt good. So very happy with, with the arm work. And I've realized, yeah, pullovers absolutely have a place in my training. I think combining them with bench really brings a lot to the table. I'm sure I've done videos on that. That'll be up later. And then I'm like, let me do my laterals. Just do laterals last since we've already done this other stuff. Let's just get in. The harder stuff's been done. This is an easy exercise. Just try to take it to fair. I got to like 20, though, with these. Because I'm like, I don't need, need the upright rows. The laterals do everything I need. Just push them really hard. Okay, we already have all those three big uh, compound movements for the whole upper body that's working all those angles. But this is making sure I finish off those side delts. So I feel like the front and the rear delts get beat up pretty hard with everything I'm doing, especially with the pullovers added in. But I got to like 20, I'm like, this is too light. Even doing super strict, so I had to grab another five for each hand. These were much harder, but I still ended up with like 15. So 
we may need to take these up a hair. But again, trying to do these strict, trying to control it, right? Notice my body's not moving, so no real body English. Just controlling it, letting the delts get lit up. Really focusing on, on the side delts. So if you guys notice the, the ranges of motion I use, it's to maximize side delt, specifically what I'm doing, uh, while reducing any, any risk of shoulder issues from it. Because again, I do have some history of, of impingement uh, due to overuse, so we don't want these to add to it. And they're not going to like this. Very, very, very safe exercise. And then the final set, I kind of did that little bit of rest pause, and I think I took it to failure, right? Took it to failure on camera. Happy with it, though, again, felt my delts uh, really get, get finished off with everything here, although I still feel like this might be a hair too light because um, I'm still able to get 15 plus. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I might try to grab a pair of 10s next time, but I've got to be able to maintain this strict form, and I need to be at 10 plus reps. But I don't mind going a little higher on the reps. It's fine. You know, on an isolation movement, perfectly acceptable. Right? Perfectly acceptable. So I may just stick with the 15s also. And then I finished up with a set of uh, band press downs to failure. Didn't even bother to count. I just grabbed a heavier band. Even though I can't always fully lock out the heavier band because of the tension at the end, I don't care. I'm trying to just get that stretch. Getting that deep stretch reflex. Uh, finish it off, make sure the tendons are getting some blood flow, and pretty much the workout. I'm really happy with the workout today, guys. I'm really happy with it, so I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.